Would you accept a friend request from this guy? How about this guy? How about these guys? The photos don't belong to a man called Frederick and they don't belong to a man called any of the other names. All the photos used in these profiles are stolen from Dr Pinto. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through some private message requests that I've received and show you how I check to see if the photos turn up in any other profiles. If they do, I just block those accounts. There's no need for us to talk to any of them. So let's have a look and see how we do that. I'm Kerry O'Donnell and on that scam show I talk about different types of scams that we can come across in our ordinary day-to-day -day lives while we're doing things like reading emails, using social media, doing internet searches and that sort of thing. So this first image is my personal Instagram account. There's not a huge amount of activity on it but it clearly shows that I am the host of that scam show. So you'd think that scammers would be less likely to send me message requests. I also have no DMs written there. Anywho, it appears that romance scammers, who are the most common scammers to contact me by Instagram, don't read profiles. So they will send a direct message without having even read this. And at the moment, I'm actually chatting online with one of these scammer people. So this guy admits to not having looked at my profile before he sent me a message. And then when I asked why he messaged me, he couldn't come up with any good reason about why. So he gives the standard getting to know ourselves better. That's a really clear sign that this guy is following a script that is setting up a romance scam scenario. Let's go and have a look at what turned up after I started engaging in this conversation, which is not something I ordinarily do. In the, I don't know, three days or so, four new requests have turned up. Every single one of these message requests is from someone who has a picture of a man. That's not suspicious by itself, but let's look at it with everything else. Two of those pictures have a man with a child. And it's such a common scenario that the men who are setting up romance scams claim to have a child because they will use that child later on as a way of asking for money like the kid needs some kind of operation or whatever but it also sends a signal to the woman being targeted that he is a nurturer a carer a provider and all of those things that are meant to be attractive to a woman i've never heard of this guy before i don't follow any of these people um they are all following me as of recently, and I'll just add in here that I strongly suspect that all of these profiles belong to the scammer who I'm already talking to as his sort of backup strategies. Do they not understand that you get dozens and dozens of randoms messaging you going hi? Like, why would you do that? You could put that in a public comment on one of the posts and just as a, a, a public comment. It does not have to be a private message just to say hi from some random. So these are all suspicious and I suspect that they are all romance scam attempts. So let's have a look at each of the profiles in turn, starting at the bottom of the list with Romeo Marcello. So when we open up uh, the message requests. This is what we see. And before I decide whether to block, delete or accept, every time I'll click on the link, the account link at the top and look at the profile. He has four posts, zero followers and is following 38 people. This could just be a brand new account. 
somebody who's just started up with Instagram, but I still think not. So let's have a look at what's in the posts. I'm going to do a reverse image search of all of these four pictures to see if there are any matches on the internet. But first, I'm going to open them up and see what the captions are. None of these pictures have any captions. So I can take all of these screenshots and you can see there are no captions. So why is this suspicious? The reason is that they are all loaded four days ago. Maybe add some captions such as who you are and whatever. So when this guy first started following me, I went to his account and I left a message on the very first photo that he had uploaded um, to ask, why are you following me? Because I thought if he's following, what did I say, 38 people or something like that, then my question would be a flag to those others who might be checking out his account that somebody thinks that's a little bit suspicious and weird. Anyway, his reply to my question on that photo was just a sad face. No words. So why do these people not put any captions and not participate in any conversations on their Instagram account? And that is they don't want to be engaging in any off-script conversation. But this doesn't mean that they don't know how, because we can see on scammers' personal accounts that they make good use of all of these things. But the English is obviously not good. So it would mean that maintaining the profile with the fake identity would be more difficult because the use of language doesn't match up with um, the impression created by this profile. This little girl in the first photo, I'm fairly certain I've seen before, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. So, because I'm using a tablet to look at these accounts, I'm going to screenshot all of these photos and send them to myself in Messenger so that I can use a desktop computer and uh reverse image photo search on the desktop. So there's no need to take any notes about the steps that I'm going to follow because everything's going to be summarized in the description of this video and I'll also put it on the website. Okay, this is just a basic Google search tab. I want to search uh, images. So I'm just going to make it easy for myself. And we'll see up here, if we click on this images tab, that there's a little um, camera icon. So you can click on that and search through your uh, folders on the computer to upload any image you want. Or what you can do is just uh, select an image and drag it into the section. So I've chosen uh, one of Romeo's images. And it says here that no other images of this type have been found. So um, the results indicate some similar images. So direct match doesn't mean that it's not a stolen photo. So down here we see a match from Scam Haters United, which is an anti-scam page that reveals... Uh, scammers specifically um, often romance scammers so we can already see John Richard Jason Sharp so I don't know if that is the real person's or if that's the name of a fake account so let's just have a look and see what it says in here so here we go this 
uh, image of this person's photos used by the names John Richard, Jason Shan, Andrus Caradoc, and other names on various social media. So we can see here's one of the accounts that's been uh, investigated by Scan Haters United, and they have identified that it's a stolen image. Um, same person's photo being used as a different account. Same person's photo being used in a different account. Oh, this is interesting. Here are some examples of emails that have uh, been sent by these fake accounts. What I find interesting is there is something bordering me. Down here again, there is something bordering me. Because they do cut and paste, right? One of the messages I received recently from a romance scammer who I believe is connected to this fake profile I've been looking up uses the same term, something is bordering me. So I just find that a bit interesting and, you know, uh, some little clue that further connects the fact that... Um, this profile turned up, this one here, within days of me accepting a conversation with this first um, romance scammer. So anyways, we can identify that Romeo is a suspicious profile simply because the same photos have been used in other profiles. But let's not just settle for one. We can go and have a look at another of the pro, uh, photos that this same oh, I'll have to switch back to images that this same person put um, in his private uh, in his account on Instagram. So this one again uh, doesn't come up with any direct matches. We've got nothing there. I could have another look on Tinai to see if there are any matches with that. So let's just go to Tinai and see what happens. Tinai in the search bar and reverse image search. No, I am not a robot. Right. So again, we can drag or drop um, into this, I think. Let's see. There we go. If you want to upload it, you can use the little up arrow, this one here. No, we don't have any matches there. All right, so we didn't get really anything out of that, but let's see what we can find with another. This guy has a few photos. Sitting. <laughs> and here's another one. So I'm not concerned that those um, other three images did not uh, form a match because we already have one that does match and it does show up with multiple identities. <laughs>
I would do that if there had not already been a hint to show that there are multiple accounts using the photos, which is enough evidence for me to know uh, that I shouldn't be trusting this identity as being a real account. You don't need watertight proof that an account belongs to a scammer and you don't need to know who a scammer is. Just block, 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 block. Thank you for watching this video. I hope there was something in it that was helpful to you and that will be useful to you in the future. If you'd like to see more videos where I provide you with hints and tips about what to do to lock down your social media and to protect your email and your phone calls and text messages from scammers, then hit that subscribe button and look out for future videos. Even more important than subscribing to this channel is if you think there's something in this video that can help somebody that you know, please share it. Share it with them so that it can help you. Oh, wait, microphone. Would you accept a personal... Would you accept a private... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to say.